So I was in high school when he started medical school, and he lived at our house for the first year. And so I remember looking at his textbooks and going, whoa, this is, you know, just amazing. During high school, I realized I liked science, and I liked, um, I wanted to do something that mattered in terms of a bigger picture, you know? So, um, so I wanted to do something that would help people. And that's the main factor, is I knew I had the, the intelligence to do it because I did well in scientific studies and then um, and then it was easy seeing the path with my brothers because both of my older brothers were already going through that. So I finished medical school and started out in a psychiatry residency actually and uh, I had uh, knee pain during that for the year of internship, year of psychiatry and had knee surgery which made me worse. neighbor who's an occupational therapist and she said we'll go see a phys physiatrist and I was like what, what is that? I'm like oh physical medicine and rehab specialist and they said, said well, what is that? I said we got no exposure to it uh, but it's you know it's a boarded medical specialty that's been around since the 40s but it's uh, been ignored basically I realized man this is another option so I changed course um, and eventually found prolotherapy which is what got me back on my bike. I realized this was a, a group of very open-minded people who are willing to explore, and, it, and it's often from people that I've already heard from many times. Uh, so they're they're telling me things that I, they think they've told me before, and I'm like, I've never thought of it that way before. That's a whole new insight, and now I'm going to be thinking when I see this type of patient, I'll be thinking about the problem in a very different way.